just after I finished university at the University of Wollongong, I was one of 10 UOW students to go to Paris to work at the World Association of Newspapers with the brilliant Julie Pizzetti, who was a lecturer at the time for my ABC Journal. I, it was originally meant to be a three month stint writing for their blog. So the World Association of Newspapers is like a trade union with an NGO mandate. So what they would do is write about editorial issues affecting newspapers around the world, human rights issues, things that affect the media, trends, um, innovation in the industry. And so I went there originally for three months and wrote about a whole host of things. It could have been a children's newspaper in Norway, it could have been an Iranian journalist who was jailed for freedom of expression issues. It could have been the gamification news or the automation of journalism. So it was a really great stint because it was a solid foundation. It was a small office. It gave me the opportunity to think critically about journalism as a whole. And actually I was there during the Charlie Hebdo shootings. So to be in Paris when there was terrorism against journalists was really quite a formative experience for me. After I finished up my time in Paris, I then joined the BBC as a news trainee and the journalism trainee scheme at the BBC gets anywhere between 4,000 to 6,000 applications a year. So had I known that, I might not have applied, but I applied and I got one out of 14 jobs from a pool of about 4,000 candidates to join the BBC. They gave me a call and they said, you're going to Belfast. And the, the trainee scheme was incredible. It was being trained at a world-renowned news organisation in radio, TV and online. But the stories that I'm really interested in are the stories that interest me. And I don't really see people like myself in the media, someone who's a woman of colour, low socioeconomic background. So the stories that I love reporting on or love engaging in are stories that maybe aren't covered by other journalists because they have different backgrounds to myself. You don't know what you're capable of until you push yourself. And so for me, living abroad has helped me to just have new experiences. So my parents are refugees from the Vietnam War and they came to Australia in 1983 as refugees. They left Vietnam on a boat with two of my brothers who were two boys under two. My mum was heavily pregnant with my third brother. They got on a boat from Vietnam to Malaysia to refugee camp there. My mum actually gave birth to my brother in transit and then came to Australia, started a life there. Started in Australia with no English. I grew up in quite humble circumstances in Western Sydney. And so for me, I find that is such a formative part of my identity and my drive, just to see people like my parents, how much I've had to fight for things, for basic things. And so for me, with someone who has much less obstacles in my way as they had, I feel like I'm capable of doing a lot more because I know what the alternative is. So while I was a trainee at the BBC in Belfast, I also studied my graduate diploma of legal practice. It was actually mostly out of pragmatism more than anything. There is a time limit on your legal qualifications. And to me, I think the labour market is so competitive. Why wouldn't you give yourself another string to your bow? So in terms of where my legal career or my legal qualifications might take me in, con in conjunction with my journalism degree, I have no idea, but I'm ready for whatever happens.